OpenArt AI has once again delivered impressive innovation. You can now generate multiple consistent characters with a single prompt. Previously, we were limited to just one character per image, but now you can create scenes with multiple characters all looking the same across different images, poses, and styles. This is a game changer for animation, AI content creation, and storytelling, making it easier than ever to bring your ideas to life. New Open Art Multiple Character feature lets you create images with two consistent characters that interact, act, or even exist in different styles. This can be anime, photorealistic, or illustrations. No impending, no Photoshop, no complicated tricks, just type in your prompt and you'll get your characters up and running. You'll find the link to OpenArt AI in the description below. Now, here are the key benefits. Characters can do different things in the same image. You can mix a styles like an anime character and a photorealistic character in the same image. Even animals are supported, meaning your characters can hang out with their dog or dragon or a cat. Alright, the first thing first, you need characters. Head over to characters here on your left. Here you can create your characters using a description, uploading an image, or uploading 4 plus images. I'll leave a link in the description to a tutorial that walks you through on how you can create characters using all these features. Now select start with description. Here you need to give your character a name and describe your character. Make sure you describe every defining traits of your character that needs to stay consistent across all visuals. This includes their physical attributes, their outfit, accessories, or specific characteristics like a tall pirate with a scar or a female warrior with brown hair. And once that is done, just pick a style that you'll go with. Once all those details are inserted, all you have to do is click on create preview. From here, you just have to select one of them and click on create character. You repeat the same process for your second character by just clicking on the start with description, give a name to your character, describe your character. From there, just choose the style from the presets that OpenArt provides you. From there, just select your character and click on create character. If you do not like the characters it has provided you, you can click on the regenerate button here. With start with the image model with this feature, all you have to do is give your character a name and upload an image of your character design here. And once everything is done, all you have to do is click on the create button and you wait for your characters to be created. And once your characters are created, you'll find them here under my characters section. Now, here is a pro tip. Make your characters distinct. For example, one can be taller than the other. Or one can be a knight and another one is a small wizard. This helps the AI differentiate them and create better results for you. So our first character is Zarya and our second character is Nova. Once our characters are set up, there are two options that we have to generate images. The first option is by selecting one of our characters and we'll see the create icon appear here. Or the second option that we have is by coming to the create image button here and we'll all land on the same page. So once we are on this page, what we want to do is come to this icon that says model or character. Just click on it. And from there, what we want to do is come to this option that says my characters and we'll select our first character who is Zarya. Once Zarya is selected, we'll click on this option which says prompt and reference. Then once we come to this section, we'll see under prompts, we'll see Zarya's name in the prompt box. So to add our second character, what we simply have to do is click on this button that says add character. And we'll add our second character who is Nova. And in the prompt section here, we'll see both names written down. We've got at Zarya and we've got at Nova. Then here we need to describe what we want to see happen between our two characters. Just type or paste in your prompt there. And once that is done, the next thing that you need to do is to scroll down a little bit. Make sure that the prompt in answer is turned on. You can turn it off to check which one provides you the best results. And from there, choose the aspect ratio. I'll leave it to landscape, but you have different options depending with what you are creating. From there, we'll leave the number of images just like the way it is and we'll click on create. And just like that, we'll have our characters up and running, no blending, just type a prompt and let OpenArt AI do the rest for you. We'll close this tab and try a different prompt. Let's say Zarya is cooking and Nova is cutting vegetables in a kitchen setup. 
And just like that, we have our characters up and running. When we look at the details of our characters, they are very consistent. The image generation is to the point. To be honest, I'm genuinely impressed by how perfectly and consistently these images turned out. They really exceeded my expectations. The level of details, accuracy, and consistency across these visuals is seriously to the next level. Here's just something else. It's amazing how effortlessly it brings creative ideas to life with such precision. Look at these images. Let's try the final prompt. Let's say Zarya is singing and Nova is playing a keyboard and hit enter. And just like that, you have your characters ready and running. Now, sometimes only one character may appear or results may be off, like the results I got from this generation. So just try again and you'll definitely get the results that you're looking for. Always remember to leave your prompt enhancer on. We just give it a simple prompt of Zarya and Nova singing and playing the piano while this is the enhanced prompt that we get. This helps us get the top tier results as the AI will be generating the images for us. Now, here is where it gets even much better. Turning these images into video clips. Just click on any image that you want to turn into a video clip and you'll see the video icon appear on top. Just click on it. From here, we need to choose a model that we're going to use. We'll leave it to clean, but we've got two more options. And when we scroll down, we need to paste in a prompt that describes the action happening in the image. If you do not know exactly what to type, just go back to your image and copy the enhanced prompt and just paste it there. From there, just scroll down a little bit and choose the duration. Is it 10 seconds or 5 seconds? And choose the quality of your video. Is it standard or pro? I'll go for pro and just click on create and wait for the magic to happen. And you will get yourself a smooth animation clip perfect for social media, YouTube, or even short films. Subscribe to our channel if you're getting more value. Now, very soon, Open Art is adding audio and lip sync. Imagine your characters talking, reacting, and even telling full stories. As if that's only it, but more than two characters are coming soon, which will be perfect for full video story builder and full animated stories. So if you are a creator, an animator, or AI lover, this too is perfect for you. Try it out. The link is in the description below. Get creative and let me know in the comment section below what characters are you creating. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel for more animation tools and don't forget to share this video with your creative crew until in the next video keep creating keep dreaming thank you open art ai for sponsoring this video to everyone who has reached this far god bless you